Hello and welcome to the video on installing R and R Studio. To get to the correct website, you can follow the links in the main document. Here I'm going to illustrate installing R for Windows. So I'm going to press download R for Windows now. And then you see a link going to install R for the first time. And the next screen will pop up and we're going to choose download R 3.3.3 for Windows. And you'll see the download of the installer commencing in the bottom left of your screen. As soon as the installation is finished, we're going to click this link. If you're Dutch, you're going to want to select Netherlands as your language. Here we're going to choose English. And we'll just continue the installation. In this screen, R asks us for the location of our installation. And I'm just going to leave it to the default, as well as the next few screens. Here, there's the option for creating a desktop icon. In this case, I'm going to make one so it will be easy to find R after the installation. And with this, the installation begins. Now, all we have to do is click Finish and the installation of R is complete. We can quickly check whether R works by going to the desktop and double clicking the icon. And we can see that R is properly functioning. And then we can continue the installation of R Studio. As you can see, there are different versions of R Studio available. We're going to choose the desktop version, which is free, and therefore we click on the download right there. We're also going to choose the installation for Windows. The installation for Mac will be quite similar. And again, clicking the link will make the installer appear at the bottom left of your screen. Once the download is complete, we just click the icon in the bottom left of the screen and the installer will appear. Here we're going to go through the same process as we did in R. Just going to leave some things on default and RStudio will be installing. When the installation is complete, we just click Voltoyen. To round up, we can check whether RStudio works. We can do so by either double clicking the icon on the desktop or going to the start menu and selecting RStudio. And in this case, we can see that RStudio clearly works fine.